Moving to Bristol, there isn't really much choice you can get if you're renting. You kind of have to take what you're given. Uh, <laughs> so w when I was moving here, every property I looked at was either just really scummy or would go on the first day it was up for listing before you, you know, I even got a chance to look at it. So this is the first property I saw which wasn't completely falling apart. The first thing I noticed when I, when I came in here was the light. Um, Cause it's obviously got this huge door window thing, one end and the other end straight down is the bedroom window. So it actually lets a lot of light in, but it was this room that kind of made me, made me go for the property as it were, just because it's, it's decently sized. All I kind of wanted was to have separation between a bedroom and my workplace. Cause I've been living in a studio for the past however many years and I had everything in one room. I wanted the separation. Also between the bedroom and the kitchen, cause I was tired of going to bed and smelling curry or whatever I was cooking. Not great, not great. So yeah, I had quite a clear vision um, of what I wanted to get into this apartment when I moved in. First off was my desk. I've had this desk for years. Back when I used to do graphic design, I wanted a desk where I could have space to do computer work and then next to it, space to do sketchbook work. And it stuck with me. I should probably get a smaller desk at some point, maybe, because I don't I don't use half of it most of the time. If anything, I just use it as a glorified footrest, one end of the table. <laughs> um, I know mean, the desk has kind of grown with me as I've got new tech. I now sit my PC next to it on its own stand, which I have like cables and stuff all under it and internet box router, that's what it's called, a router <laughs> um, in, in, in just a big tower. So I can have it separate and like all my cables that run to my monitor and my desk are all super long. So I don't actually need the desk next to my computer. So I could move it about, I could, I could move it to the other end of the room, not all, all that extra meter away. Woo, exciting. And then just above my desk, I've also got a painting that I made. I say painting, it's some ink blobs from when I did art back in the day. It's nice to have that there um, because I kind of like it. It's abstract enough for me not to care about poor design or anything. Um, I just like the colors. I think it's pretty neat. But yeah, I've kind of I've kind of slowly built up the setup. No one cares about techie setup things really. It's just a lot of clamps and some tech and some lights and some monitors and a cutting mat, which I use as a mouse mat because years of doing graphics and just having a cutting mat on the table and not having a mouse mat, I'm used to the Anyway, desks, boring. Shelving unit, fun, maybe. Basically, I don't own much stuff. I don't have really much decoration. So I kind of wanted the stuff I use to be my decoration. So most, most of what's on the shelves is just, you know, it's, equipment. What else is on there? Um, it's mostly equipment and maybe some old books. There's not, <laughs> I don't own many ornaments. Um, I have a couple, each one, you know, I, I have a reason for keeping it. It's not just pat, like they remind me of something. I think the main main sort of decoration stuff is, is plants. I've got a few plants scattered about. I've killed a few plants over the past year. I'm a bad, I'm a bad plant keeper. I'm a bad plant keeper. So I hide the, the dead plant pots behind my degree. I th that's the only logical place to keep it. I think it's important to show that I'm not a complete idiot. So I gotta hide my shame behind the thing that, the, pe the piece of paper that says he's not a complete, <laughs> he's not a complete dumb. <laughs> he's not a complete. The rest of this room though, I got a chair. He's next to me. I'm on a different chair next to the chair. Why am I not in the comfy chair? I'm on a hard chair. Um, it's nice to have a, a chill chair to lounge in. Otherwise it'd be a very cold room, wouldn't it? Oh, just a, just a work chair and some dining chairs. Uh, oof, oof, joyous. What a joyous room. So yeah, th this is basically my living space and also my dining space. I've got a table in here. Um, priority is the table, toaster, obviously. I've got a toaster on it. Uh, I eat a lot of toast. And you can tell I eat a lot of toast because I've had to put a phone charger next to the toaster so I can watch 
<laughs> videos while eating toast. I eat a lot of toast. I eat a lot, I eat a lot of toast. Opposite that I've got my, it's a TV stand. Technically it's a TV stand, but I use it as like a shoe rack and bag dump area. It's pretty handy. And then I've got all, all my various jackets hung up on the door next to it. I never close that door. Just, I like to keep it open. Why I wouldn't ever need to close it really. I don't need to close any doors in this flat. I live alone. Maybe I need to close, I do need to close the front door. That's the only door I do need to close. Um, maybe the bathroom door. For smells. Maybe the kitchen door for smells. Maybe the bedroom for smells. Speaking of bedroom, it's all right. It does the job. It has a bed in it. That's all you need. Uh, all, all my furniture in my bedroom is secondhand, which I find quite funny. Apart from the TV, I did buy the TV. TV isn't furniture though, is it? You can't sit on a TV. You could, shouldn't, shouldn't sit on a TV. Is it healthy to have a TV in the bedroom? I don't know. Where else am I gonna put it? On the shoe stand? <laughs> No, crazy. You're crazy. Your bedroom does a job. And because of the way this sort of building is, I've got a little alcove under the outside stairwell. I basically use that as like a, a pre-dumping ground. Before before I want to get rid of something, I'll, I'll like shove it in this corner and then go, if I haven't thought about it or wanted it for a month or two, then I'll get rid of it. The bathroom is small, let's be honest. Uh, the way this whole flat is set up, the bathroom and kitchen are tiny, very thin, very narrow. I sort of imagine it like a kind of sim game where there's like one block for standing in, one block for the toilet, one block for the sink, and then like three blocks for the bath, shower. There's, there's not, not much else you could squeeze in there. And it's grim. When I moved in, this flat was, oh my god, vile. Vile and disgusting. And I've I've tried to clean it. I've I've oh I have cleaned it a lot. It's it's still still grim. And everything everything was too short when I moved in. The the medicine cabinet mirror thing, way too short for me. And the shower head. God, they must have been tiny. I had to had to install another hook thing for the shower because it's all well and good washing your waist, but when you don't wash your upper half, what's the point? And the other room I hate in my flat. The kitchen. I hate my kitchen. Cannot stand my kitchen. It's oppressive. It's fine, but it's oppressive. <laughs> it's it's so dark because the the two rooms on the side there they don't they don't have any windows. They are super dark. They're super grim. They're super grimy, and the red cabinets do not help with the matter of light. Why uh red red cabinet? It's oh it's just it's too dark. It's too dark for me. I think I'm I think I've become worse at cooking because I haven't. I just don't want to be in that room. It's too small. It's the same situation as the bathroom where it's like you've got one tile to stand in as it were. It's just, oh, it feels so, so tight. So tight. I also like that the hob is just the worst hob I've ever, I've owned some shitty hobs. When living in halls, I've, I've used bad hobs, which don't work. But this is, this was on another level. Just an electric hob that just didn't work. So I've, I basically covered it up with a big old chopping board and got an induction cooker. Um, it's just better for the environment, uh, cheaper to run, and a lot easier and quicker to use as well. So um, I'm winning in life, obviously, got an induction plug-in hob. I'm just gonna go live in a camper van now. Then then that's sorted. <laughs> but yeah, why this video? Why this video now? I am moving out in less than a month. I'm moving out of this, this hell hole, which is nice. Um, I've got a place. It's it's completely new. It, it'll be nice. It won't have all the grimes of past people living in it, which will be should be really pleasant. Um, yeah. Sure.